Welcome. The following technical support video will show you how to use the RGB color kit for Corel made by Multirip and iProof Systems. The RGB color kit will contain two different color charts. The first color chart will have 510 values and the second color chart has 2040 values. Both of these color charts have X and Y coordinates that allow you to map out each individual color value. For the 2040 color chart, we've created a PDF document that contains all of the RGB values for all 2040 values. In addition, the ones that are grayed out are the ones that show up in the 510 value color chart. In addition to these tools, we've also provided a color palette with the colors coordinating the X and Y axes for the 510 value color chart. In order to load this color palette, you'll want to go over to the right side of your Corel window and you'll see if you put your cursor over the top it'll say the default CMYK palette. It's typically what comes already preloaded in Corel as the default. You'll want to click on that, go down to palette, and go over to open. It'll then open up the custom data folder where most of the stuff in Corel and the other palettes are saved. You will want to go and find out where you save the color kit that you downloaded from Multirip's website. You'll need to find that on your desktop. And you'll notice when you get to it, it is a .cpl file. You can go ahead and double click on that and it'll go ahead and load it over here. Now I also recommend getting rid of the default CMYK palette. That way it won't confuse you. You can simply do that by clicking on it, going to Palette, and going to Close. Now your color chart will show up over here. If you want to expand your color chart to see all the colors, just simply go down and click on the button on the end, and it will expand it, and then allow you the ability to drag your cursor over. You'll notice all of the different colors. If you put your cursor over, you'll notice that a window pops up and it says it's R13 T18. The R13 equates to the x-axis, so you go R13 and go down the T18 and it will equate to that color is the same color that we just pulled up in the color palette. What I recommend you doing is I recommend you printing these different color charts out and pressing them or applying them to whatever the substrate you have that you print. This will allow your customers to know exactly the colors that you can hit. If your customer needs to hit a specific color, like a red or blue, this will let them know what the closest color that you can match to. Since we're digitally printing and it becomes very difficult to hit precise Pantone colors. I also recommend when you do this to keep track in somewhere of a log or on the back of the imprintable for you to write what settings you used when you went through the multi-rip and printed the item out. You'll find that your settings, if you duplicate them, will allow you to hit the same exact colors. The key settings to look at are going to be your print quality, whether you're running it in which one of those resolutions. Also your RGB or CMYK profile that you're going to land up using. And then obviously the media type that you used as well. That's how you would use the RGB color kit provided by Multirip. If you have more questions, please visit www.multiripusers.com. Thank you.